Okay, so this video is going to show you how to add Google Sites to your Google Admin uh, for Chromebooks so that students um, will be able to access, well, whatever home page you want to create for them. Um, so to start out with, um, well, I should start from square one. Uh, um, probably everyone's familiar with the Google Drive here. Uh, but instead of clicking on Google Drive, we're actually going to go to Google Sites here, which I'm already in. Um, yours will be blank. I have a few things here already that I've created. And we create, uh, just like in Google Docs, you go ahead and click the Create button here. And you can create a new, I usually use a blank template, but um, you could browse the gallery for more. Give it a, a title and a name. And uh, click Create, and uh, you're on your way. So let me show you what, um, what I've created uh, for the login splash pages, what we call the splash page with the links at the front. Um, and uh, another important steps to this, once you've created your uh, Google site, you'll want to go into, uh, first of all, more here, and then down to manage site, and then to pages. This is where your pages will live. Again, I have quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, but Login Solutions is uh, where I stored uh, all the different sites of what's currently there for the splash pages. So this, I'll just start with American Lakes there at the top here. So uh, out of that blank page, I just embedded uh, pictures of American Lakes. I added the links uh, that uh, would be good for elementary and their, their school and wrote this topic here. I can easily edit this right now by clicking here if I want to edit this page, add more sites or whatnot. Uh, pretty much looks like Google Docs up here. I can then save my changes or not. Uh, and the important step here is once I've got that page created, this is just kind of a holding page and kind of like the back end um, of, of what the link is going to be. Uh, the link I can grab from right here. I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to come back into my Google Admin Council where um, I can see American Lakes here. Uh, I'm in, I guess I should start from square one again, um, from the Google Admin page. You go to User Settings and uh, under user settings, if we scroll down past the apps and extensions, which is where you could pin apps, we'll have a separate video on that coming up. Uh, but I'm going to scroll down to startup. That's the section we want right here, startup. And so the home button, I could change that to the same thing, actually. So rather than have the user configure, well, it's always going to show it. Um, or we can change that to always show. Again, these are personal preferences depending on how your site wants to have their Chromebooks configured. But if I go here to uh, home page, I can actually make it the URL. I can make it whatever URL I'd want to put in there. In this case, I need to make sure I'm in uh, American Lakes, by the way, otherwise it would be for every Chromebook in the district. So I want to make sure I'm in devices. And just a little side note here, you've got both devices and then for American Lakes here. So right now I'm under devices. There's their four carts. But I can also scroll down. You're going to see American Lakes again further down. To keep going here. Uh, right here. So there's American Lakes again where we'd have staff and students. So there's two different settings here. I can actually um, control you know, the different grade levels here by going into students. But we're looking at the devices, so I'm adding to their four carts. That's the one I actually want to look at. The scrolling on here is a little quirky, I've noticed. Um, you'll probably find the same. Anyways, um, I can configure either all of the carts. If I click here for American Lakes, uh, I'm going to be affecting every single one of their carts. Or I could just do individual carts if I just wanted their cart number one to configure this URL. I just paste it in here. 
so this is the pages to load up on startup. So um, when they open the Chromebooks up, when students open them up, they're going to come right to this uh, splash page here that um, was created. So that's on startup. Uh, as I was mentioning, the home button, which is the little house button, it looks like a little house that students will see on their on their Chromebooks, would um, could also be another URL that you want to put there. So every time they click that little house button, it's going to, I can have it open a new tab, which um, kind of like what it's set to already. Or I can have it go right to here. I'll paste this in again here and save my changes. And now it will always go right to that, um, to that splash page for there. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, and again, you can always go back and edit this. Whatever changes I make here will automatically take effect on that link. And um, make sure you save the, the changes there. And, um, I think that's about it for now. Thanks for listening.